Hello and welcome to my first video of the summer. Ah, the summer. Isn't it great? The sun's out, everyone's cheery, everyone's going to pools, having a fun, barbecues. Not really in England. It can be very, very rainy. Although these past few weeks and about a month have been quite sunny. Although as soon as the summer holidays started, it started to get worse and worse and worse and worse. It has only just started, but it's quite annoying that it's gotten worse. So I tried to do a bit of a summery themed picture, which I'll talk about later. were wondering what my creature is. It is a pear bird. I thought about this thing for a while. As in, when I had actually thought of the video, it'd been like maybe a day before I thought of it. But a long time ago, I had thought of it before I thought of making the video of it. The reason I wanted to make it into a video is because pears are the fruit, and so you have them in the summer with maybe fruit smoothies or just have them or in a fruit salad and birds come out in the summer a lot and you see certain types so and I thought a pear is kind of the shape of a weird bird so I made a weird bird pear pear bird thing I thought it was really cute <laughs> it was fun to make because the shapes and because it's a fruit I couldn't actually put feathers on so I gave it leaves and the eyes are actually going to be blueberries so I made them a dark blue and the beak, I guess just a really small carrot don't know <laughs> I got very, very stumped on what colours to do because pears can come in very many different colours they're normally green or they can be yellow or they can be a greeny yellow or lime or it's hard so I didn't know what to do for the pear bird um, at first I was doing it like a yellowy greenish colour but it came out more yellow and then I tried to do some shading to make it look more, um, I guess, green. It didn't work, it went very, very dark. So that didn't work, but I had to go with it, so I made the whole thing darker. <sighs> it turned all right out in the end. I don't think I should have used watercolours, I think I should have used something else. I made a mistake, but I'm going to have to live with it, because I cannot erase a watercolour.
You know, I said I had really bad pencils and the only other pencils I had were watercolour. Well, when I was looking for some watercolour pencils to try out, I tried out them out in this video. I um, found some professional pencils and not watercolour ones. I thought they were watercolour but they were not, they're just really good professional watercolour pencils. I'll use them from now on because I made a mistake not using them. I thought they were the watercolour ones. Uh, I've been using the bad ones this whole time. Like They're just normal crayons that anyone could get. But the other ones that I have are proper ones that actually blend. And you don't have to go lighter to make them blend. Oh, I should have looked for them earlier. <laughs> oh well, you learn. And I've found these found those other pencils and I will use them in the next video if I use pencils in the next video which I probably will don't know The watercolour pencils were meant for just little spots on the pair but then I'd watch someone else use them and they use them as a bit of shading which I tried because um, it was a much darker green it didn't go as I really wanted it to and like I said before I got the shading a bit too dark and this is where I went a bit too dark because if you add water to the watercolour pencils it'll just become a normal watercolour watercolory pink colour and that was where I made the biggest mistake I did fix it well not fix it but I did make it look better in my opinion but I put a bit of water over it and this happened yeah it went really dark well then because of the brush strokes because it was a bit gappy I used that as an advantage to make it look like it was meant to look like that even though it wasn't. Yay! The mistake wasn't too bad because I like it a bit now. Only because I've added things to it. But it wasn't the worst mistake I ever could have made. I did still end up doing the spots in better places and in a better way. I also used the white pen to do the spots and to accentuate the eyes to make them look like they're actually real. I know it doesn't look real, of course, but the eyes look a bit more realistic to me, a bit more actually like blueberries. And I tried it on the wings and the little leaf on the top. But that didn't work. Possibly it didn't show up because of the lighter colour, because yellow is very light compared to other colours. It didn't work on the beak either, even though that was an orange. I don't know why. I think it just started to run out or something. It's not running out, it just didn't show up on that either. Anyhow, now is the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy the rest of your summer holidays because I certainly have so far. 
and I will see you in the next video. Bye!